Welcome to Watch Symposium, I'm Austin. All right, so uh, a little follow-up. I forgot to say some things in that last video, and I also forgot to do a wrist wash check. What am I wearing today? I'm wearing a Orient Blue Mako. Now, you guys are probably wondering why I haven't even put on a Rolex yet. I mean, here I am like a Rolex fanboy, and I'm just uh, wearing all these uh, less quality pieces. What's going on? Well. The reason I wanted to wear this for the next couple days is I, I want to do sort of a, a, a bit of a review on it, just a real casual review. And so I wanted to check the accuracy. So that's one reason. Um, but uh, yeah, Rolexes are on the way, so don't worry. Uh, now, as far as the tritium goes, there's there's a few things that I, uh, there are a few things that I forgot to mention and I, I, I just want to kind of be comprehensive. So uh, one thing that, you have to keep in mind about tritium, uh, it apparently flakes and cracks and that can get in the movement of the watch. So I've heard that there are some places that will put a seal, um, some watchmakers that will actually put like a clear seal on the tritium to keep it intact. That's another thing to keep in mind. Um, would I want seal on my tritium? Not really but I also don't want it cracking and getting in the movement. So that's another thing that sort of needs to be taken into account if you're talking about tritium. Let's end on an interesting thought experiment. Now, if I took my Rolex back to, uh, to have it serviced, the no date sub, and it came back with non-tritium hands. Well, if it came back with non-tritium tritium hands, I, I'd be screwed, but would you, in that scenario, request a non-tritium dial as well? What, what, what would you do? Would you, would you enjoy your non-tritium dial and just suck up the non-tritium hands? Or would you want some uniformity and pay the price for Luminova? It would make for a better look. I'm not so sure. Uh, let me know in, in the comments, but let me just sort of break that, that down. I've got another six minutes before uh, uh, I'm off on another uh, leg of public transport. Um, part of me would want to keep it uniform and part of me would, would want to have everything the same and, and, uh, and, and if you're going to give me Luminova hands, give me a Luminova dial. But once that dial's gone, it's gone. And, you know, you can't enjoy that, that patina. So part of me says that you should enjoy at least the dial aspect. Uh, it's a tough one. Um, now, if I was selling it, you know, assuming people get hung up on this sort of thing, that I, I, I would be inclined to replace both the dial and the hands uh, because I think a buyer might be turned off by that mix match. Uh, but of course you'd be having to pay for a dial prior to a, to a sale. So that, not, that might not be a good uh, good idea. And there could be some buyers that are, that are buying the watch for the dial, to poach the dial. Um, you know, in the past, I, I told myself in that scenario I, I would replace the dial as well, but I'm, I'm rethinking that. I think in that scenario, I would just in, enjoy the patina on the dial. And yeah, you know, it wouldn't be on the, the hands, but I could at least enjoy the dial. Mm, I don't know. But then every time I looked at it, there'd be that mixed match. I don't know. It's a question I, have or, I hope I never have to answer, um, but I, I would if I, if I took my watch back to RSC. So... Take care. See you next time.